Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. Ghetto Report. Podcast. When did you find out it was 50? When we heard the screaming and the commotion. The whole, one, once they found out it was 50, the whole hood. Niggas getting calls on their phone. Yo, 5th just got hit. Fifth, yo, phones jumped. Yeah. So we walked yeah. back there and shit. But he wasn't back there. Yeah. Um. So so after Fifty gets shot, he gets dropped by Columbia. Yeah, they he, 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 got, he, got, shot in, he got shot in the, in the mouth. Lie. So they thought he couldn't um talk or, or rap no more. Why? Why did they think that? Because they wasn't. He in got contact shot in the him? mouth. If you hear somebody getting shot in the mouth, you yeah, doubt but you know you gotta, you gotta be able to speak to him first before you can you know. Yeah, but that not, them records execs don't care once they heard that and they scared to it. That's his issue. You figure it out. You going from it. You're a tax yeah, yeah, writer. Yeah, yeah. You're a tax writer. Yeah. We'll get the money yeah. back on you at the end of the year. Yeah. So it, 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 so it wasn't because they thought he couldn't rap again. It's like, we don't That's want That's what it problem. was. It, 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 they thought he couldn't yeah. rap no more. They dropped him. And then it had yeah. been, I guess, the issues he had around him. Yeah. But the main part, he got shot in the mouth. Yeah. But it wasn't shit, but, an actual shot, though. It was a ricochet, too, by the way. But people get shot in the... Um, People get shot in the head and they good. So, yeah. you know. Um, how was that? L- let's talk about Columbia be- yeah. before he get before he actually got dropped. Yeah. How was that when he signed to Columbia? Shit, shit was popping. But then how the rob came out. Yeah. And, and how the rob. That was his introduction to the game, man. That shit was yeah. popping, man. He had the whole industry talking. That's one yeah. thing I give you about, uh, one thing I give, boy, he real smart, he intelligent. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Remember around that time, <clears throat> the late 90s, that's when everybody balling, all the money playing and all the money generating now. Puffy and all them niggas, Jay-Z and all them, they in competition on 97, 98, 99. Real money generating, everybody balling. So he says, shit, since everybody balling, I'ma rob all y'all ballers, nigga. <laughs> And he, he made a record of robbing the whole industry. And that was it. That was his introduction. Took him off. Like, that was it for him. That was it. Yeah. That was it. Everything Small was move. lit. Everything was up from there. Everything was up. His first single oh. was going to be the song with Beyonce. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would have been lit. They had to get rid of him quick. Yeah. Because to me, like, Power of the Dollar is a classic, nigga. Every record on there. It is. Definitely. Um, so then um, he gets shot. He comes back. When do you, when's the first time you see him when he comes back to the hood? A few months after he recuperating and shit. He came to the, um, he came, he came through the, the barbershop. He came through um, Faye's barbershop and shit. Shout out to Mike. I'm out there hustling in front of the barbershop. The whole hood will tell you. I'm in one spot by the phone hustling nigga, all day, 24-7. So he, he cut through the alley, so I didn't even know he was in there. So he walked through the barbershop, he called me. First time seeing him, I gave him a big hug and shit. Oh shit, big bro, what's the word? What's popping? What's going on and shit? He still, his legs still fucked up and shit, so he walking fucked up. With a limp? Yeah, both his legs was fucked up. He, mm-hmm. he really got mad leg shots. He ain't got no upper shots. He got hand shot, leg shots, and a little shit in his face. That nigga was more leg shots. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So then he hugged me and shit, man. He showed me the vibes, what he wanted to do. And I'm like, shit, man, I'm all in. Man. Yeah. And we yeah. up from there. So, um, then y'all start G-Unit. Yeah. And when, when I started going to the Poconos, because in that conversation, he said, yeah, I'm going to come back and check you and shit. We're going to go to the Poconos and we're going to get it popping. Yeah. So he came back and checked me. He went to the Poconos. Me, Root Boy, El Dorado. Yeah. Yeah. So um when so the so the beef with Ja Rule, right? Um yeah. it, it did it originated from like in a club, fifty my fifty you seen Ja, Ja was yeah, I mean fifty like, was with a guy named Troy Casey yeah, or something like club that. Club Amazon. Yeah. And, I was and Troy Casey that. robbed Ja? Yeah. Yeah, back in the day. Not yeah. when Ja was a, a popular artist, like on some street shit. Regular when Ja was oh, oh, before he was popular. Yeah, before he got famous. 
and he was from y'all neighborhood, the, the kid that... He's from Basel, yeah. He's from down the block. He's from Basel. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Troy Casey. I yeah. think he do a lot of work with um, Prem's son right now, too. Shout out to um, Little Prem. Okay. Is, is, is the kid Troy cool with Prem, though? Yeah, I think or, that's Prem Little Man. Huh? I think that's Prem Little Man. Oh man! So, but okay, Prem, but Prem was in jail at the time, so you know I would go. You said what? Prem was in jail at the time. I think he robbed him, so you know I would go. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um. Did they have? Did Fifty have meetings or discussions to leave Ja alone before things escalated? I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning, night I pray. 